but when you're doing the work you're doing like now and you connect and you start getting out of the way means your ego goes away this sense of I am separated and I'm strong and I'm mighty and da 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 and goes away and you're just here there's no mind then it's pure connection it's pure oneness because no matter how hard you try sweetheart my dears no matter how hard you try no matter how many times you tell yourself or try to hypnotize yourself you can never be disconnected from the oneness there is no way out you are the oneness we are the oneness so we're, we can never be disconnected from that we are that it's us it's who you are that's your very essence of being is that so a you don't need to worry about becoming one with god because you're already at b in being one with that you can relax into this you can come to this acceptance of the divine planning and the perfection of universe even though at times things don't go your way and looks like everything is falling apart it looks like nothing is happening for you it looks like all the contracts you get all the stuff you get they fall apart or people deceive you or they lie to you they're conniving they're sneaky and of course naturally a lot of people come and say what about me or why is this happening to me or this is always like this me 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 thing which really it's a way to reinforce your ego and you know we go into this negative thinking or negative way of pattern of thoughts or being angry is really the ego inflated ego which is very addicted to and gets fed through negative thoughts because it enforces its existence it gets enforced into this i am separate separated from the consciousness i'm separated from totality and the whole so therefore i'm here and i'm a victim and everybody lies to me or they're being conniving with me and then with that comes the story that i want to tell my story of how i got screwed over this business deal to my best friend that i'm a victim and my best friend says you know oh i feel bad for you i'm sorry you're right and you know you got really got the short end of the stick in this deal and they really screwed you and look that doesn't take away from re the the reality of you may have been screwed in a deal somebody lied to you and they stole your money or they pulled you they sucked you in into a deal and you lost money i'm not saying that doesn't happen and that's not valid or maybe you got in a relationship with with a conniving person and they're lying to you but that it's not like that doesn't happen it happens 
okay? I'm not taking away from that, okay? But what I'm saying, what I'm pointing out, this is very important, I explain this part to you so you don't get confused. What I'm saying is that at no point there is any disconnection. You're always connected to all of it. You've never been disconnected from any of it. And when you start to reach into a higher consciousness and you're expanding and you begin to see the perfection in life, then that deal that happened, that you got cheated in that deal, you begin to see even perfection in that deal that you got cheated in, into it. You begin to see that that was also a part of divine planning. So then you can accept it because you already got cheated. They stole your money. So there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you can go after them and bring him to justice if you can. And you may be doing that, and there's nothing wrong with that either. But you don't lose sight from the big picture. Even though if now in your action you have to go and defend yourself, but you don't lose sight of the big picture, that you can see it was all was meant to be in that way through divine planning. So you have developed the acceptance of the divine planning. Now, whether you're going to react and try to go and sue these people or go after him and bring him to justice, or you don't, that is part of the divine planning as well. Hi, Mari. Hi. Not nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I was just thinking about the, uh, say, um, divine planning uh, and contra the free will. Makes me a little bit confused. Of divine planning and free will. Yeah. Like right. you think you have a choice and you got the gut feeling, you think you should go that way, but if it's already planned, so I don't get it. Right. Right, right. Okay, so obviously on a day-to-day -day basis that we're living, we continuously making different choices. You know, you know, I don't, I don't, I like coffee, I don't want tea, or I'd rather have eggs than fruits or whatever. So naturally we make we make these choices we can't help it right so but if you go deeper okay and the apparent you know in what appears to be is that i like eggs in the morning rather than eating grapes or or oranges but where does this desire and where, where is this coming from? 